Okay. To paint your shapes, I want you to use tempera. And remember the techniques that I taught you. You've got uh, underpaint. You've got Sharpie under, under the underpaint. You've got um, dry brush. And you can just kind of have fun with it, too. So I'm going to get my brush wet. And I'm just going to pick up a little paint on the tip of my brush here. And I'm going to... It doesn't need to be real thick, but it also doesn't need to be real watery because paper doesn't, this kind of paper will warp, just to warn you. I'm going to clean my brush real quick. Pick up a little white. Just let the two mix together a little bit to get kind of a lighter blue out here. You can put newspaper underneath so you don't have to clean your table later if you want. Let that dry and then you'll go to the other side. Do something similar. Remember, these are 3D shapes becoming formed, so they are going to be seen from all directions. You need to plan all directions, what it looks like. And I'm going to do white on here. Now, just make sure you don't fill in your hole. Quickly get some white down on there. Clean my brush because I don't want to dip it in the blue and make a mess in my blue. Get a little blue and I'm going to kind of spiral this. So again, you can have fun with this. You don't have to make this nice and smooth. You can create whatever kind of textures you want. You could do palette knife. Just be careful because this doesn't like real thick paint on it. If you do cardboard, remember you've just got the cardboard to deal with. So you have a darker background so that same blue might look a little different on cardboard than it will on the matte board. A little white. Once it's all dry, flip it over do the back side. And that's how you paint your shapes.